Hello, welcome. Pause the video, read the problem, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. So we have a Venn diagram here, and the first thing I want to know is how many students are we looking at? Well, I'm thinking that there are this many students. There are 210 who are in algebra, but not a sophomore. There are 320 who are sophomores, but not in Algebra 2, and there are 85 that are in both, right? So if we add these numbers up, we're going to get everyone who's in Algebra 2 or a sophomore. And just to kind of go back over that real quick, the 210, that's referring to like this moon shape right here. So they're in Algebra 2, but they're not in the intersection where there are sophomores. And the 320 is referring to this number, this moon shape right here. They're sophomores, but they're not in the intersection, not in both. And the 85 is referring to this region right here, students who are both in Algebra 2 and sophomores. So I want to count those three numbers, add them up, and what I get is 5, 11, 615 students. But there are also 985 students who are not in Algebra 2 or are sophomores, so I want to add those up. So I might need to know how many students are in the school. So I'm just kind of playing around with the numbers because... For me, I like to add this stuff up, not only because uh, I might use the number, but to get a sense of the problem. So I like to think about kind of marinating the problem here. So there are 1,600 students in total, total students. Okay, I feel better. I know a little bit about the problem. Now, what do they want us to solve? All right, if a student from the high school is selected at random. Okay, so, all right, I'm paying attention. Here we go. The student from the high school, from the whole high school, selected at random. What is the probability that a student is a sophomore given that the student is enrolled in Algebra 2? Wow, that's a lot to unpack, huh? So the probability that a student is a sophomore, okay, given that, so probability, I'm going to write this down, they're a sophomore given that they are already enrolled in Algebra 2. Okay. So what will this equal? Well, this, is, this is going to equal the probability that they are a a sophomore and in Algebra 2 divided by the probability that they are in Algebra 2. This goes back to the definition. I'm going to write it up here. It's a side note. The definition I'm thinking of in my mind is that the probability of B given A equals the probability of A and B, or I can swap those two, B and A, over the probability of A. All right, so I'm, I'm thinking Algebra 2 is like the same spot as A, I'm dividing by it. All right, does that help me? I don't know, let's see. So the probability that there is sophomore and in Algebra 2, well, that's these 85 students right here. Okay, I like that, 85. Out of all the students, 1,600. What's the probability that they're in Algebra 2? The probability they're in Algebra 2, okay. Whew. So how many students are in Algebra 2? Given that they are in Algebra 2, so altogether, there are, looks like 210 plus 85 students in Algebra 2. That's 295 out of 1,600. Now, look at this. I, I guess I realize I don't even know the total students because when you divide by 1,600 in both cases, they will cancel out. When you're dividing by fractions, you multiply by the reciprocal. So it's going to give me 85 over 1,600 times 1,600 over 85. You divide by the fractions, you multiply by the reciprocals, and these cancel out. Long story short, we get 85 over 295. Now, let's just, let's just say for a moment you had to reduce that fraction. Let's remember what you would do. So you would enter 85 divided by 295, and then if you hit math and fraction, boom, you can reduce the fraction to 17 over 59 in case you had to do that. All right, well, I hope this helps.